So in today's video, we will be making this kind of cyberpunk Blade Runner kind of render using cycles for free. So let's get started. So in order to make this kind of render, we will be needing some kinds of buildings. I will be using this free kit by Kitpatch 3D. It has a lot of high quality assets, but you can use any kind of building asset that you want. So out of all these buildings, I will use just three of these buildings. So copy these assets then sacrifice the default cube and paste the assets in your project file. Then set up your camera and press N to get this menu and select the slope camera to view option. And now you can adjust the camera positions easily. And if the buildings are starting to disappear, go to the camera properties and change the clip and value to infinity. And now you can change the camera position according to your liking, but you can always change it later. So I will place one building in the center and the other one on both sides. So press S to scale it up and see it's getting bigger. That's what she said. <clears throat> so duplicate the building and place it on the other side, something like this. Now press Shift A and select images as planes. Make sure to click on emit and choose any picture of your choice. Then scale it up and place it in the center. Then go to the shader editor and increase the emission strength to something like 10 or 20. So now we will be making this holographic kind of effect. So for this press shift A and add a mix shader node, a color app node and a wave texture node. Put this color node into the factor of color ramp and this color node into the factor of mix shader. Disconnect the principal BSTF and put this into mix shader and the mix shader to material output. Now increase the scale value and leave the rest as it is. The more the scale value, the thinner the stripes will be. And make sure Y axis is selected because we want horizontal stripes. I will also turn the world color to black. Now just like this, you can add as many posters to the scene as you like to make the scene look better. I will add two more of these so enjoy the time lapse. And now it's time to add some logos. So then again press Shift A and add images as planes. Click on Emit, select your logo, place it wherever you like and go to the shader editor. Delete the principal BSDF and add a add shader node, an emission node, a color amp and transparent BSDF. Put the transparent BSDF into add shader node. Emission to shader and also increase the emission strength. Color into color and color into factor. And you can also change the color of the logo if you want. Basically we are making the logo emissive as well as transparent. And we also want these stripes on it so for that we will add a mix shader node, then connect add shader to mix shader and transparent BSDF into the second shader node. Then for stripes, add a color amp and wave texture and connect them like this. 
then change it to y axis and increase the scale and then connect the mix shader to the material output and we are done i would suggest that you play around with the scale value and see what works best for you and just like this i will add some more logos so once again enjoy the time lapse I am using the old Twitter logo here because the new X logo kinda seems like of an adult site. Then for some extra lighting, I will add a point light at the bottom and increase its strength to 20,000 and also change the color if you want. Then I will duplicate it a few times and place it between the buildings and make sure they are not visible in the camera. And it looks great. The top of the building looks kind of empty, so I will add a spotlight and increase its strength to something like 40,000. And also rotate the light so it's facing the sky. And place it on each side of these buildings. And now the last thing is to add the volumetrics. So for that, add a cube, scale it up so it covers the whole scene and change its visibility to wire and then in shader editor delete the principal bstf and add a pistable volume node and connect it to the volume output node change the density to something like 0 0.005 and also choose a blue color to spice it up even more you can add a character to the scene or anything which will make the scene look better And here is our final render. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel and then I'll see you guys in the next video.